Today, let's explore the depths of the ocean. Seventy percent of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans, and ninety-six percent of the Earth's water resources are seawater, making our planet essentially an oceanic world. However, human understanding of the oceans is limited, reportedly less than five percent, a proportion similar to our knowledge of the universe. Today, we will take you on a journey to explore this mysterious underwater world. Do you know the average depth of the ocean? It's approximately 3,680 meters, which is similar to the height of Puncak Jaya, while the average elevation of global land is only 860 meters. This vast difference illustrates the immense depth and breadth of the oceans compared to land. The deepest part of the ocean is the Mariana Trench, reaching depths of 11,000 meters, significantly deeper than Mount Everest. From the summit of Mount Everest to the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, there's a total height difference of 20,000 meters. At three meters, this is the depth where humans can comfortably swim. Between 20 to 30 meters lies the primary area for coral reefs and aquatic plant growth. At 40 meters, it becomes the limit for recreational scuba diving. Going deeper can cause discomfort such as joint pain and dizziness, akin to altitude sickness. Interestingly, the world's deepest swimming pool also reaches a depth of 40 meters, located at a hotel in Italy, specifically designed for diving enthusiasts. At 70 meters, humans start experiencing hallucinations, and this is also the habitat of the world's largest fish, the whale shark. At 100 meters, which is the limit for professional divers, lives a unique creature known as the North Pacific Giant Octopus, capable of changing color like a chameleon and reaching lengths up to 6 meters, often mistaken for a mysterious sea creature. Going deeper at 130 meters marks the deepest point where underwater weddings have been held. In 2014, two professional divers conducted a deep sea wedding in Thailand, drawing widespread attention. Below 200 meters lies the zone known as the deep sea, where sunlight is insufficient for photosynthesis, hence green plants are almost absent. Here resides a unique fish species called the ribbon fish. Free diving is an extreme sport, with the current world record set by an Austrian diver who reached a depth of 214 meters in 2007. Beyond 100 meters, divers face challenges such as hallucinations and physical pressure issues. Continuing downward, at 300 meters and beyond, submarines operate in search of large animals like giant squids and other unique fish species. At 600 meters, you encounter the big fin squid, which has a transparent head and glowing filaments adapted to the unique ecosystem of the deep sea. At 700 meters, European eels are found. Although commonly in deep sea environments, they occasionally inhabit rivers. At 900 meters, giant squids thrive, known for their enormous size and remarkable swimming abilities, sometimes coming to the surface to spawn. Descending further, at 1,000 meters, you enter the twilight zone, where almost no light penetrates, inhabited by strange fish, like the dragonfish. At 1,300 meters, large animals such as giant squids and special sharks live, adapted to extreme pressure and low-light environments. At 1,700 meters, you find the habitat of the emperor penguin of Antarctica, capable of surviving in extremely cold, deep-sea environments, showcasing their high adaptability to extreme conditions. Below 2,000 meters, you enter the true deep-sea region, with very low temperatures and scarce life, yet home to many unique creatures adapted to deep sea environments, such as the dragonfish. At 3,000 meters, whales such as the sperm whale live, often seeking food at this depth. Sperm whales are known for hunting giant squids, leading to frequent encounters between these two animals in the deep sea. Finally, at 3,800 meters, you encounter the wreckage of the Titanic, the famous ocean liner that sank in 1912, now a protected underwater cultural heritage site, off-limits to salvage operations, making it an important target for deep-sea exploration and historical archaeology.
These are some of the remarkable phenomena and creatures found at different depths of the ocean, showcasing the rich, unknown ecology and the challenging exploration journey of the deep-sea environment on Earth.